Welcome to CKLA Knowledge 2, Lesson 4. Chew, swallow, squeeze, and churn. Our purpose for listening today is to learn about the digestive system. We will write and draw about what we've learned today. We also want to listen to understand the word digestion. Can you say digestion? Remember that Dr. Wellbody, the rhyming pediatrician, has been teaching us about various systems at work within our bodies. Each system is made up of different organs or parts that do special jobs for the human body. The systems are all tied together in a network to keep the human body alive and healthy. Remember that the skeletal system provides support as a framework, helps with movement of the body, and protects important organs. The muscular system works with the skeletal system to help you move your body. You control voluntary muscles with your brain by thinking. These muscles are like your arm muscles or your hand muscles. The most important muscle in your body is your heart. It's involuntary, meaning it works automatically. Today, you will need to know about liquids. Liquids are wet substances that take the shape of the containers they are in. This includes water and milk. We're also here about solids. Solids are foods that are not liquids, such as cheese, broccoli, and bread. The process of breaking down food into energy for their bodies is called digestion. Let's listen carefully to learn all about this. Yum! A chicken burrito! I, Dr. Wellbody, the rhyming pediatrician, am feeling hungry. I think a chicken burrito would taste mighty good right about now. Healthy foods like chicken burritos, homemade pizza, apples, and carrots are extremely important to our bodies. We cannot live without food. Food is the fuel that gives us the energy we need to stay alive, to walk, talk, think, and breathe. The energy from food helps us stay warm. We use its energy even when we are sleeping. Food helps children grow. It helps us heal when we are hurt or sick. So how do our bodies process or digest the food we eat? Your digestive system makes all this happen. Let's find out how it works. Pretend that you just took a bite out of a cracker. What are you going to do now? That's right, chew. And while your teeth are crushing and chomping on the cracker, a liquid called saliva is helping to soften the food in your mouth and make it even mushier. Another name for saliva is spit. Once your food is good and mushy, it is time to swallow. When you do, the chewed up food goes into a tube that connects your mouth to your stomach. This tube is called your esophagus. It is about half as long as your arm and about as wide as your thumb. The food doesn't just slide down it. There are muscles in your esophagus that squeeze the food along the way you squeeze toothpaste from a tube. From there, the food goes into your stomach. Do you know where your stomach is? If you point to a spot a little above your belly button, then move your hand a little more to the left, you can feel your rib bones. Your stomach is there partly behind your ribs. Your stomach is like a big bag or balloon. It expands or gets 
bigger as it fills with food. Powerful muscles in your stomach squeeze the food and turn it around like clothes in a washing machine. At the same time, stomach juices, a watery mixture made by your body, help turn the mushy food into liquid. Food stays in your stomach for about three or four hours. Digestion is happening while you work, play, and sleep. Every time you eat a meal, you swallow a little air. As your stomach churns the food, the air makes noises, sometimes called tummy rumblings. When the air passes back out through your mouth, sometimes with a loud noise, it's called belching or burping. It is always polite to say excuse me when you burp. The liquid moves from your stomach a little bit at a time into a tube called the small intestine. Your small intestine is narrow, but it is very long, around 15 feet in all. Since you are probably only around four feet tall, how does your intestine more than three times longer than you are tall fit inside your body? Here's a hint. Think of a jump rope or water hose that is not stretched out, but is folded up. Your small intestine is all coiled or folded up inside you, underneath your stomach. Food stays in the small intestine about six hours. In the small intestine, all the good things from the liquid food get absorbed or taken into your blood. The blood carries these nutrients and vitamins from the liquid food that's been digested around your body so they can give you energy, help you grow, and keep you healthy. But there are still some bits of food that aren't used up and are left behind in the small intestine. These leftover bits are called waste. The waste gets pushed into your large intestine. This is a tube like your small intestine, only shorter and wider. It is curled like an upside down U around your small intestine. From there, the waste gets pushed out of your bottom when you go to the bathroom. It may take two days for food to travel through your whole digestive system. And that is how digestion works. Here's my little rhyme about the digestive system. A healthy body needs good food. There really is no question. Your body gets the things it needs. Just leave it to digestion. Let's do that together. A healthy body needs good food. There really is no question. Your body gets the things it needs. Just leave it to digestion. The next time we get together, I'll help you find out all about the most important muscle in your body. The one that works all the time, but never gets tired. See you then.